It's been a couple of weeks. I've been pretty lazy, especially considering the maddening insanity of the last issue, but now I'm getting ready to start on issue 80. Starting to get towards the tail end of this project. A little scary. Anyway, uh, here's the First Order Assault Shuttle. Uh, this you might recognize from TFA, from the initial uh, raid sequence. And, uh, yeah, they got that going on here. And then on the next page, we've got some of their First Order Troopers. Really like what they did with the First Order Stormtrooper armor. Very pleased with the, the design there in the helmet. A little bit about Star Wars Legos down here, so you know, the same thing. You know, a lot of these Star Wars Legos now got these bits that, you know, it's got to shoot things. And I don't know, man. just seems to me like Legos are better when you provide all the, the action with your imagination. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Here's Elam, or Elam. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it directly. In Japanese, it's Iramu, but uh, in English, it's I-L-U-M. So, I don't know, Elam, whatever. Uh, according to the Wikipedia, this is where young Jedis collect their kyber crystals to make their first lightsabers. And here's a whole bunch of them. And, uh, hey, a Rodian Jedi. How about that? There's Ahsoka Tano. Ladi da, lots of this Clone War stuff going on, some madness there, and this issue now. Uh, the first part of this issue, the first stage, is attaching these plant-on details onto the mandible that I'd already completed before. But like the other plant-on details, I'm leaving that until after I get around to painting it, so I can spray those down uh, by themselves before gluing them in to get a better paint job. Of course, I'm probably going to screw up the entire paint job. But anyway, so what I'm actually going to be doing in this issue is just this bit, assembling the frame, and I believe, yes, attaching just a, one or two pieces of the plating, the hull, um, there. And in this issue also came along more of these, uh, these props or the jigs to support the whole thing because the mandibles are starting to come together and they need to be attached eventually. But, uh, one thing that's funny in that in the guide, uh, here, I mean, you probably can't make it out in Japanese. I can't make it out in Japanese anyway, but the translation in English says, resist the temptation to connect the mandible to the hull at this point. I thought that was kind of funny. So I will resist that temptation, but for now, let's assemble a little bit of framework. Well, I've got three pieces of frame, eight screws and four connectors going on here. So I'll be putting these together. And you know what that means? You can enjoy yourself a little bit of yakety sacks. And that is it for this. There we go, a little bit of mandible frame. I am just going to uh, take a brief detour and grab some screws to attach this plate. But anyway, just a second. All right, I've scared up enough screws to put this together. So very quickly, tack this on. And just drive screws into the four corners here. Not going to give you the sacks again this time because you only get four screws. So, womp, womp, womp. As I get down towards the end of this model, the looming specter of painting this behemoth edges closer and closer to the top of my consciousness, and uh, to be quite frank, I'm worried almost as much about where I'm going to do this as much as how I'm going to do it. I don't exactly have the kind of workspace necessary to do painting of a large scale like model of this in my house. But that's even secondary, but perhaps parallel to my trepidation about painting this thing, because I've never done any painting 
of anything really this scale before. Anyway, here we go. A little bit of the mandible finished, and that is it for issue 80.